Hello, hello, hello. So, <clears throat> hope you're having a wonderful day. I don't know why I have to say so all the time, too, but that's become a thing. Uh, we'll have to deal with it, or I'll try to break the habit, but we know how that goes. Anyway, <laughs> we're here to look at, I'm just going to say this, Ciburo, 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 eh, Ciburo, Ciburo. Severo CX Exploder. Pardon me, having my coffee. Severo CX Exploder. Now, let's read the words. The words. Severo is a fictional firearm company from the universe of Shiro Masamune. Eh. Um, Ghost in the Shell and the Appleseed Universe. Okay, <laughs> so bear with me there. Uh, Cibro, let's see, Cibro CX is a bull-up gun, so it takes advantage of the long barrel. That doesn't, a bull-up gun, I'm not, I'm not sure that that really means anything to me. If it means something to you, great. Alright, so successful by design, but need training due to the sight, recoil, etc, etc. Oh, that means it's just got a hard recoil, okay. Anyway, this brand new weapon comes with the following modifications, new fire sound, normal and suppressed, auto and single shot, suppressor, okay, it lists a number of things here, tactical, basic and sharpshooter hand grip, short magazine. One of the great things is that it is on the chem, st I'm very sorry, pardon me, it's on the chem station. Every time I'm having some coffee and I try to start one of these and I start getting the hiccups and stuff. Anyway, <sighs> Kim Station, it's a rare one. So, yes, it's a rare one nowadays that it's on the Kim Station. But here's Jenny. She's ready to go make one and see about shooting some things. Or actually, we'll make two and then see about shooting some things. So, let's go here. Now, I did not look to see where it was, so pardon me while we look for it. Hopefully, it's pretty obvious yes look at that hmm Severo CX let's make two of those okay now we have the holster do we want the holster maybe we do maybe that'll look cool let's let's do the holster let's see how that's gonna look on Jenny here you know she really hates to model things, but we're going to make her do it anyway. Oh wait, there it is. It's up at the top. The holster. Boom. Boom. There we go. Boom. Boom. The holster. Eh. Eh. The holster's okay. It kind of gets in the way of the hand. Oh wait. There it was going to look just fine because she was going to move her hand. Hold on. Let her, let her move her hand. Come on, Jenny. You can do it. She's like that child that she does it one time and then you try to get her to do it again and she won't do it. Come on. You can put your hand on your hip. Show us the holster. Come on. You can do it. Nope. Okay. Alright. Well, in that case, let's move on. You get the idea. The holster is there. <sighs> Jenny is not cooperative. Anyway, but we have the pistol. Let's take a look. This is I guess this is the base model, and we're going to keep a base model and try that out. Let's see, what ammo does it use? It uses 45 ammo, so we have plenty of that. I really think that is super nice looking myself. Um, hopefully it shows up on the video. There's shiny parts, and anyway, it's good looking, but it looks like it has been used quite a bit too. It has some worn edges, so very nice good job okay so let's go make one that is significantly better than the other one let's see oh here we go let's just we'll do the auto receiver we'll do a suppressor yes oh there you go okay standard grip sharp sharpshooter grip which it looks totally the same uh, standard mag, <laughs> quick eject, um, large quick, and okay, it looks the same. Okay, is this weapon just going to look the same no matter what we do? 
Oh, wait, okay, so we got a scope. Okay, you can get a scope and stuff. All right, let's do it. Let's go with it. Let's have some fun. Caliber is 45. Hmm. That seems to be the better caliber. I'm going to have to go back to the other one and make it... Let's see, do we want laser? Replace this pit boy light. Or do we want the lamb? Replace this pit boy light. Inferior range and sighted accuracy. Improved hip fire. Let's see what we get. I don't know. Damage. Oh, let's increase that damage. Let's have some fun. Alright. So let's go back to the other one. That's the suppressed, advanced, blah, blah, blah. Let's do the absolute standard. Make sure everything is is just standard. Okay. So I want 10 millimeter. Yes. 10 millimeter. Under barrel is none. Damage is standard. Okay. So the only real difference between the two, let's see if we can tell. I don't know if they'll look any different or not. Um, well, yeah, that one will have some mods the other one doesn't have. So like this one is invisible. Wait. Is it? Oh. It is off the screen. Okay, well, I've not seen this particular issue before. But we'll, we'll just take a look at that one on the table. This one, it looks perfectly fine. It looks normal. It looks exactly the way we made it. Let's go drop the other one on the table. So this is one of those times where it's going to come in handy to be able to drop it on the table, which we just missed. Of course we did. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Where did it go? Oh, wait, now it's there. Okay, um... I think this pistol, it has some weird issue. Something to do with the laser, maybe? Look at that. Okay, let's just pick it up. Let's take that laser off. I think that might be the issue. Let's get rid of the laser. Hold on a second. <clears throat> we'll just get rid of the laser. Pardon me. Yeah, let's just go down. And let's just turn that off. No laser. All right, let's try it with no laser. Let's see if it shows up now. All right, so the laser freaks it out. I don't know why, but if you use the laser, it freaks it out. That is, you saw what it was doing, very weird. But if you don't do the laser, you can still do this. And it does look different from the other one, but only in the fact that you've added attachments. You have a suppressor, you have a scope, and underneath you have the laser, which we turned the laser off so we don't have a laser. Whatever. Anyway, you get the idea. So, there you go. That ended up working out after all. So, let's see. Let's get the right one. Which one has she got? Oh, good. She's got the plain one. Good. That's what we want to start with, is just the plain one. Let's just go in here. Oh my goodness, this other guy fell down. I didn't even shoot him yet. The gun sounds good. Feels pretty good. Doesn't do a lot of damage with the 10 millimeter. Of course, my aim could be better, right? But 10 shots is pretty good. He bounced in the air. I don't know what that's about. I don't use any special ammo. So, very nice. And if you switch, oh, I'm sorry, switch back to third person. The aim seems off in third person, though. I will say that. But it does better if you zoom in. <laughs> I killed him in the elbow. That's funny. Oh, and basically missed her. Like I say, you have to aim a bit to the right for your aim to really work in third person. 
All right, let's do. Okay, so now we get the iron sights. Great, I like the iron sights myself. Being an old country boy, that's all we used to have was the iron sights. We didn't have no scopes. We didn't know what a scope was. Oh, look at that cash. The caps, I can't get them, man. I can't get my caps. Oh, well, that's all right. We don't care. Okay, so now let's switch the gun up and go to the suppressed one. All right. Oh, it's auto. Oh, my goodness. And it has very little recoil. So the other one may have some recoil, but it was on 10 millimeters, so it didn't seem like it had a lot of recoil. Oh my goodness, this gun, this pistol is great. And you can still use it to kind of snipe, too. <laughs> oh, it's not bad at all. This is fun. Now, when I when I try a weapon and I say it's fun, it's it's pretty good. Now, it may not be your type of thing, but for me, I think it's fun. Let's see, how much of a zoom has this thing got? Quite a bit. I missed her. Did you see that? I missed her. That was so bad. Whose fault was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just funny. Um, anyway, so this is a great gun, I think. I think both versions of it are really good. So let's switch to third person. It's still a lot of fun. It's like a little, it's like a little submachine gun pistol, you know? It's just great. That's really fun. And then you can still zoom. Now the zoom is different in third person, see that? You don't get the sniper feel. But you still get the zoom, which is fine. Oops. Did you see that? That was a bad shot on my part. So there you go. That's that's really nice. Now, let's go back to first person for a minute. And let's go back to the original gun. Yeah, I don't I don't see a problem with it. The 10 millimeter does not seem to have. It doesn't have the power. See, it took two shots to kill him. But it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have the recoil that I expected. It's it's really, really good. Now maybe if it was a 45, it would have that kind of recoil. So anyway. Um <clears throat> let's uh this is the souped up cool version. But even if you don't use that, if you just use the regular version. And you can soup it up some by just giving it, you know, making it a 45 will make it do more damage. It's very nice. Very, very nice. So, and it's got its own style. It looks cool. And you get the holster. I'm not sure if the holster is a big deal because, I mean, put your weapon away, girl. Because her hand clips through it and it looks kind of dumb. And I'm used to her weapons just disappearing anyway. So I'm not sure if that's a big deal. But if you wanted it, you do have it. It's just her hand clips through it all the time. It's kind of annoying. But that's... <clears throat> pardon me. That's me. That doesn't have to be you. So let me show you the mod again. I think that's a fun, fun little weapon. I think you'll enjoy it. And I just showed you like the two extremes from a very low powered standard version that you might be able to use early on in the game to a to a high powered more even I mean it could even replace it's more of a machine gun and could even be a bit of a sniper at the high end so so a very nice weapon and I don't think the mod was too big either Right, okay, so it's Severo CX, or Severo CX Exploder, just um, under 38 megabytes, so not bad. We've seen one weapon um, have uh, be a lot larger than that, 
and not uh, and not really be that cool or that fun. So, and no, I'm not picking on anybody in particular. I'm just saying that was that's cool and fun. I had a good time playing around with that. So, uh, hopefully, you will enjoy that as well if you give it a try. Um, and you can try the other variations in between the two, especially if you use it in a game as you're leveling. See, Jenny's already like level 60 something. So, um, but if you use it in a game where you're leveling and you're growing your your skill, you know you will not have access to the high end version right off. You would start with it as its lower end self and and increase there. So, there you go. All right. So, um, also it's a good 10 millimeter option. If you ask me, it seemed like a good 10 millimeter option. It felt good, so, and sounded pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, oh, and remember, you can make that in the Kim Station. So, unlike some of the others we've looked at. So, thanks for watching. Um, have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.